Hello fellow YouTubers. Today I am going to be reviewing Miller Chill Lime. This is 4% alcohol by volume. It comes in a clear glass bottle, so I'm expecting it to be skunked. I'm not overall pleased so far with this beer, but I figured I'd give it a try because I like lime, so why not? Let's pop open the top real quickly. Oh, come on. You hear that, es that escape of gas? Pour it into our standard mug. Glug, 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 glug. So far it seems to have a lot of foam, but not a, yeah, so instantly we've got a big, almost four fingers worth of head, and a glove beer that looks piss just piss yellow. How does it smell? Yeah, I'm hardly getting anything on the nose. I'm smelling some sweet malt, some corn adjuncts. Sadly, I'm not getting much of any lime whatsoever, which is very disappointing. I was hoping that this was going to be up front with the lime, and yeah, I'm not detecting any lime or any other citrus whatsoever. I'm gonna pour a little more in here. How does it taste? Not looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm not tasting much lime at all. I don't know if this is a bad batch or what, but I'm not detecting any lime juice, any lime zest, you know, that mouth puckering citrus, I'm not getting it at all. What I am getting is your standard adjunct lager shitty beer. I'm not getting any line at all. Hold on, wait a sec, there's a, in the aftertaste, there's a bit of a lime sensation, but it's very, very faint, and for a lime beer, you expect bold lime flavors, not a barely noticeable lingering aftertaste, so mouthfeel on this is absolutely thin and watery. Barely any aftertaste at all. In all honesty, this is like drinking water. I'm going to assume that Miller Chill is just Miller Lite with lime added. I've never had Miller Lite in my life. This is, in fact, I think this is the first Miller product I've ever had. We don't get a lot of Miller up here in Canada. I think we get Miller Genuine Draft. <coughs> Excuse me. And obviously, 
Miller Kill line. Final rating of this beer, 3 out of 10. I would drink it if it were free and nothing else was available. It's not an offensive beer as far as taste goes, but that's because there's hardly any taste at all. Very, very disappointed with this beer.